Good evening, Irish people. I'm not just the sexiest piece of dry wheat pics you've ever seen, you know. I'm your teacher. And I have something very important to ask you, my people. I'm asking you to give my government a chance to keep this recovery going on February the 26th. Over the last five years, we've had to deal with all sorts of carry-on altogether. People looking for rights, people questioning things, and people thinking for themselves. But despite all this, we have prevailed with flying European colours. I'm the first person to admit that some things may have gone wrong during the last five years since 2011. We had a tarnished there, Eamon Gilmore, who before the election presented himself to the Irish people as a knight in shining armour, when we all knew he was nothing more than a gobshite in tinfoil. We had a Minister for Social Protection, Joan Burton, who looks like a cross between a Chucky doll and the girlie from The Exorcist. We had a finance minister, Michael Noonan, who's about as trustworthy as a T-Rex in a field full of sick lambs. We had a minister for health, Dr. James Riley, who looks like he had stage 12 of the hairy hands. We had a minister for justice, Alan Shatter, who has about as much an emotional sense as a pack of Tesco brand firefighters. We had a minister for equality, who thought LGBT was a type of sandwich. We had a Minister for Agriculture, Simon Coveney, who couldn't tell the difference between a waving pipe and a fallopian tube. We had a Minister for the Environment, Alan Kelly, who wouldn't tell the difference between a pair of wellies and a stick of candy floss that has been pissed through. But despite all this, I want you to let us have another chance at making this country great. And for all of you out there that are worrying before this election, for all of you out there that are criticising before this election, I have a very simple message for you. Don't mind all the cutbacks and the austerity, the home and water tax, just shut up and vote for me. Don't mind the inequality. What you will do is shut up and vote for me. Oh, and by the way, we're going to abolish the UFC. Because that cheeky little pup Conor McGregor, it's about time he was taken down a peg. It's about time he realised that there's only one king in this country. Schlong August Bat.